be getting in the match here in a second. Really soon. Looks like we're playing Twixie and Kalon CPU. So if you guys don't know Kalon CPU, he's a uh, Gardevoir and Aegislash player. Now Aegislash player, along with a plethora of secondaries like Shadow to Garchomp uh, from Colorado. And uh, he came down here to this event today. He's, he's been to a couple of events as well, like DreamHack Denver, and he says, I want to make my mark here. <laughs> We're going to make things work. And now he's here, winner side top eight. I don't know if anyone else expected him to be there. I don't know if he himself expected him to be there, but he just kind of swarmed his way into top eight. I don't think he's on a lot of people's wish list for it, but he's here. He's making a statement, and we'll see how he plays against the man himself, Twixie. I had to say, they're making, <laughs> making statements. I asked Toasty, like, Oh, so, uh, Blaze the King. And he's like, I wanted to make a statement. It's like, oh, yeah, you made one. No, oh, yes. You're in losers that way. You're in losers that You made a statement. <laughs> but he made the run back with Gano yeah. using Toast that style. Greg. As he should have done before. It's done. Yes, so Toasty <laughs> and Greg got the rematch in losers final. You know, out of these four pools, three of these pools have Blazikins right outside of top four at 13th place. That's Greg, Deadly Shock, and Raidal Empire. So, shout outs to all the Blazikins today. Of course, we're biased because we're both Blazing players. But for making it out to this tournament, and you know, still showing up in good force. But uh, now we're jumping into Kalon CPU running with the Guard Chomp, which I did say was one of his secondaries. Yeah. Uh, nothing we've seen before today. He's only been running Guardborn Age Slash from earlier. But now we got Guard Chomp coming out, which many people say is a good matchup against Chandelier. So we'll see how he plays this. Even if it is, this is a matchup that Twixie definitely has good experience. Right. Roxo and Coach Steve definitely uh, give Twixie a run for his money. And even like if you talk about online, uh, Orlando is also a very good guard chomp. Oh, I like I like the cancel on earthquake just to get it over hex. Though. Goes for the uh, release X upwards, but misses to the angle. A Hits the dig. Hit. So the times Kalon's taking the jump are really smart so far. Ooh, gets a full counter on the 2x. That's gonna be a nice confirm and release X upwards. I feel like Twixie maybe expected another jump. Ooh, gets the anti here in field phase. That is a field phase anti here. Well, you're jumping and you get hit by the AY. Try to force it an option back in with 2x. Twixie had it covered. So like I keep talking about with low stance from like Mewtwo, Garchomp right. can high stance a lot of things. He still takes half damage, but right. he also does like damage back. Oh. I'm trying to remember what the exact He goes in. He keeps him in the corner too. Wow, that's going to close out this round. Significantly, those are two insanely risky plays back to back in Kala and paid off in dividends. He just took the first round against one of the best players in the country, Twixie. Let's see if Kala can keep this up. Twixie wins the first field face. Oh, oh catches the dash match. with Hex. So I, I like the Kalon changing the timing also of when he jumps, when he's looking to get in. Cause really mixing it up, because jumps are useful against a lot of Chandler's stuff, but at the same time, Chandler's got really solid anti ears as well, so you have to be really careful on how you plan this all out. Twixie tries to go for the multi hit to stuff the counter, but it's not going to work. Wow. Oh, I, the bait was really smart, but Twixie picked an option that covered jump back as well. Really smart play for both players here right now. It's an AY. He tries to go for the punish, but Smog's going to cover it. Nice 2 I. Okay, blocks over here. Oh, gets his uh, Stone Edge pierced. Like so he was, he was worried because his shield is low, so I thought I'll dash up Stone Edge. If he baits, like, takes the bait on Stone Edge, then I get a free, like, maybe even take the round right there. Umbreon, gonna get punished. Yes. Oh no, no, he's and attacked he's down. So it's not gonna be too much. Or, I mean, Callan did have a uh, defense debuff, yeah. so it does help. Jumps over, gets the GX. Really, really close for Callan right here. Oh, oh Twixie oh, has the CADC and AY. It's gonna catch caught the jump, yeah. There. Right. Twixie has full meter, while Callan's pretty low on that end. Running with Umbreon once again for this round. Does have Umbreon up immediately. Goes for the dig, gets hit by the last hit. The unfortunate part of dig is the first the first hit of dig has no hit stun, so a good <laughs> chance it will trade with something. Right. Or even worse, gets stuffed out. That's a nice Umbreon reaction call to Smog. Tries to go for the grab, but Twix's home attack. We're not going to get the crit because of the Umbreon debuff. We're still going to get some stage shit. AY's, uh, Twixie's AY. Both of them being frame one anti ears. We're not guard jump. Oh, not good. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's, it's uh, really sex. Sorry, yes. A good 
zoning out here for Twixie. He really doesn't want him getting in. Twixie does have burst on deck in case he needs it. Right now he's looking really damage. strong. I was surprised he actually committed on day. Overhead. Earthquake cancel. Talon's in a really tight position right now. He yeah, caught by jump a jump in. in the AY, yeah. Garchomp does have a fairly fast jump, so there are chances where I think Kalen's shooting for trying to get a jump and bait the AY with landing soon enough to block. But so far, he's just, he's getting on the ground, but he's still getting hit by the AY, because Garchomp is also a taller character. So if it was someone more like Weavile, maybe that would have been working a lot more consistently. It's kind of, again, it's like, like that mid-range near where Shandy wants to poke you with a lot of moves, hits you low. Yeah. Then he is also has 5 wide, which is high, so you kind of have to like really get into that range and figure it out. Twixie's very good at not just get, having an obvious pattern of that. Right, it's so really then, hard to figure Twixie out, and in most cases it feels like you just have to quite literally guess and see what happens. Which is not a great strategy against one of the best players in the country. Ooh, dashes straight into the hex. Twixie's in at full health right now. Tries to go for another Hex. Miss space. Something Kalon can try. Okay, it's a dig wait, in. It's way of a oh, dig. Nice. Five Hex. Oh. Little, Get hit by overheat and we'll go back to field phase. Uh, Twixie will clear up his uh, debuffs with Espion. Yeah, he's looking really strong right now. He might have been able to close it out if he went for the laser there. Minimizing the spawn. Really, really smart play coming out there from Twixie. One round away from sending Kalon and CPU 57 to losers. And guaranteeing himself winning the finals. Spotted. Lustrous top four. Dashes in to Hex once again. Twixie's been really good about these Hexes. Kalon was looking really strong at the beginning, able to avoid Hexes and take a round off, but now Twixie seems to have got it all figured out. Kalon yeah, now seems like really trying to like force the situation. Feels like you kind of have to. He got something. He got some good damage. He's going for a dig. Oh! Digging to release X upwards. I have never seen that before. Oh, goes to release X once again, but uh, Shane Lawrence here. I'm very he's going to get that punish. Sometimes Garchomp gets away with murder. With that release X. Okay, punish Let's punch the, the, the forward dash. He's going to do a lot of damage. Going into overhead, going back into uh, field phase. Twixie does have burst. Cal, see if you go for a grab. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Still staying in field phase though. Lots of pressure right here. Chipped Cal up all the way back down. down. Oh, no okay, burst, well, burst on Burst ran out after the jump, so what can you do? Oh, Ooh. that's a, that's it? Yeah. That's gonna be it for Kalon. Okay, All right. Kalon's still alive. He's got another round. All right. He's still in this. He's still in this. Okay, Jake, he that's that's a big punish. Taking away his meter this time. Goes to grab. Kalon does not have full meter just yet. Dragon Claw hit, but he wasn't ready. Yeah. We're gonna go for the hit confirm on a 6A. Goes for Dig, that's gonna be a punish. Yeah, the raw Dig is like... That was the CEO <laughs> 2016 Coach D special. I remember last year, Dreamhack Austin coached Steve Dig on Twixie four times in a row. That was the fourth time Twixie was able to use his first attack and clean that all up. <laughs> so Twixie's definitely one who's very experienced in this matchup. Uh, as you can very clearly see here, Overheating. Pressure streaks, 2 HP, Kalon doesn't meter have right. meter. Really bad position, jumps straight into Hex, and that's gonna be it for Twixie solidifying himself a spot in top four. And Cal CPU being sent to losers, still making top six, at the very least. Oh, top eight is three out of five. Oh, top eight. Just kidding, it's not. Okay. No. All right, all right, so finals. Finals are three out of five. Okay, good to hear. All right, all right, so we got some back and forth miscommunication, but let's get this straightened out right now. Winners, grands, and losers finals are all three out of five. The rest of top eight is two out of three. So just get that straightened out. This is two out of three. That was Twixie's 2-0 over Cal on CPU. Now we're moving on.
Yeah. No, no confusion. We just gotta set it straight sometimes. So next, we will have, I believe, Sleeping Bug versus Volomar. I see where Kalon is placed in the bracket from that. All right. So just some updates for what's happening in uh, in top eight uh, as as we went through this match. So it seems that Roxo the Savage has indeed beaten STDX Alistair. Sorry, in control, Roxo Savage has beaten uh, STDX Alistair 2-1 in, in losers of top eight. And currently, thanks, Swalla and Toasty are playing uh, off stream, also in losers. So it looks like we're gonna have losers uh, off stream for now. Uh, top four will all be on stream, don't worry about that. Yeah, the top and four is happening later tonight, later and it's gonna be now. on a different channel. Different channel. We'll Dream let you guys match. know, DreamHack Smash. We'll let you guys know more of the details, stuff like that, times and all that, as we get closer to that. Uh, right now, I think we will be seeing uh, Slipping Bug and Bolomar, two of Texas's greatest, number one and three on Texas PR, respectively. Toasty himself being number two, sitting in losers. Uh, I mean, we got, uh, at this top eight, we got three Texans. Like, I, as a personal Texan, I'm, well, not entirely personal Texan, but as a Texas player, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, 